Hey y'all, it's Tracy with Mama's Comfort Cooking. And I come to do a collard green tutorial for you. I'm gonna show you how to do your collard greens in an Instapot and on the stove. I'm gonna first start with the Instapot. I'm gonna show you how to cut them up and I'm gonna season them for you. Let's get started. <clears throat> so I have collard greens here. And we're going to cut them off of the bias of the stalk, okay? We're going to take them from this long stem. Here we go. It's just that easy to remove them. If you have a good knife, you may have some stems, but you won't have a lot of stems. Can you see what I'm doing? Here we go. I'm cutting it down. That's your stem base. We're cutting it off the stem base. Okay. Very good. I left some out to cut a few so that we could roll and cut them together. Yeah. Once you do this step, what you would like to do is then take your collard green. See how I did that? You lay it down. Most of them will be the same way. You just lay one into the other. One into the other. Got some right here. One into the other. I'm going to do this twice for you. Okay? All right. <clears throat> so once I get them like this, they're stacked on top of each other. Just like romaine lettuce or something. Then I take mine. You can roll them. You can roll them short. I roll mine long. No way to roll them. Just begin to roll them once you line them up. So I'll roll mine just like this. Y'all see? It's in a roll. Then what I do is, can you see me? Let me get a little closer and get you on top of me. Hold on. Hold on. Mama's trying to get you all the way in there. Let's, let's take it all the way down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So once I roll it, this is another set I'm going to roll for you. We've cut it off the stem base. Once I roll it, I'm going to cut it just like this. Take your time so you don't cut your fingers. <clears throat> I've never been to culinary school. I'm a home cook, okay? Very good. Then I turn mine again. It's just like if you had a big long piece of sushi. I turn mine again. And I cut again. about three times and I cut it again right down the middle of everything so that when I'm when I'm done I have nice little pieces like this okay now you don't necessarily have to cut yours like that we'll do it again we'll put that in there and we'll roll another set and we'll do it again. So you remember I told you, you're going to stack them off into each other. So I'm going to unstack these just to stack them for you all. It's all right if you leave a little stem. I just don't use any of the big, big stem. Unless I buy them and the stem is there, then I'm left with no choice. Because that's the way I purchased them. Okay. All right. So, again, I roll mine long. You can roll yours that way, whichever way you want to. Once I get it rolled, I cut. I cut. Slide it. Turn it to the side, just like this. Keeping it all together. And I cut again. 
and I cut again. And that's it. Okay, y'all got that? Was that easy? All right, let's move on to step number two. So when you do this, you want to wash your, clock, co your collard greens. You want to clean them thoroughly. You want to make sure that you clean them. How you choose to clean them is up to you. I have my method, especially when I go out in the fields um, and they are grainy and dirty. I will use salt. I will use a little warm water. And I believe it or not, you may not like it, but I use a little dishwashing liquid, especially when they come out the field. And I wash them over and over and over. You won't see no suds or nothing. The salt helps me scrub and get the gritty grind off. Call it what you want to, but it works, okay? So I'm not going to tell you how to clean yours. The next step is I'm using a Instapot. This is a Instapot. Can you see it? Make sure you can see it. It's simple to use. <clears throat> what you do not want to do is fill it to the max line. You don't want to put your liquid in the max line. It's a line underneath there that says halfway full. Okay? Now with me, I've already washed greens. I've got them sitting over here to put it in the Instapot. It's only going to hold so many at a time. So I'm also going to cook the rest of the greens because I did 10 bottles. I'm going to cook them in a big fat, uh, what I call a belly pot. So in this particular pot, these greens that I am going to do here is going to be strictly vegetable. These are for my vegan fast, okay? So I'm going to use vegetable stock. I'm going to pour it. In these greens, I use the whole um, 32 ounce, and it's still not at the half mark. I'm not going to take it to the half mark. I'm going to add a little water in here, probably about a cup. Because I really don't want it to spur up. And that's enough water for the Instapot. Then, I'm going to add my have washed and clean into the Instapot. As many as I can get in here. And that's about all I can get in. Uh-oh. Let me turn it around. Hold on. That's about all I could get in. What was in this bowl? That's a good measurement um, for the Instapot. That's all I could get what was in this bowl. I'm sorry that the camera turned around. Okay. To that, I'm going to add onions. I don't care who cut your onions up. Just add onions. Let me go put a little water and rinse these onions out of here. Hold on, I'm going to use something else with that. So, to my vegetable ones, just the strictly vegetable ones, I add, and I haven't seen anyone else do this, so I watch a lot of people. So, if they come saying I've been doing it, I'm not going to believe them. So, I add a package of... I'm going to teach them something tonight, huh? Vegetable seasoning by Lipton's. Okay. These are the vegetable ones. These are strictly vegetable. I'm going to pour some water in over that. 
Then I'm going to add some cream of coconut. Let me turn it on here so you can see. I'm going to add cream of coconut. Cream of coconut looks like this. It has a heavy base on the top of the coconut. This is where I'm going to get my fat. The majority of my fat and my flavor is in the cream of coconut. Yes, I am. Oh, but will it make it sweet? Mm, a little bit, but not much. Not for all these greens. But it's going to give it a welcoming flavor. So I haven't added any salt and pepper and seasonings yet. The seasonings that I typically use <clears throat> is garlic, pepper, which has salt in it, garlic powder, and basically I use crushed peppers. So let me get my seasoning. I use garlic powder. It doesn't matter whose you use. I'm just building flavor. I don't represent these companies, okay? I'm going to use some anything but salt by Mrs. Dash. That covers really everything. And I'm going to use, uh, where are they at? Hold on, I don't want to drop everything because I'm a shorty. So I'm trying to find my, my, um, few more things that I need. Be careful with this because it has salt in it. And I don't want a lot of water in here, remember? <clears throat> because what happens is, if you put too much water in your collets, what happens is that when you get ready to release, this is the release dial right here. And when you get ready to mash this down to release it and for everything to come out, if you have too much liquid in here, it's going to spill all over your cabinets. It's just going to make a, a horrible, horrible mess. So the remainder of the things I'm going to add is some pepper juice and some um, jalapenos in mine. Let me get my canola oil. Hold on, y'all. I, I can't find everything. I'm going to add about, I'm going to guess this, a fourth a cup of canola oil. Okay. And I will open this up again. I cannot find my jalapeno that I had out earlier. Got some more over here behind here. Hold on. Got all that goodness in there. And all I did was build flavors. So, let's see if I can get just a few more collars. Let's see if I can get a few more to fit in here. Just a few more. There we go. I think that's going to be it. All right. Are we good? Are we good? So in this pot, I used again 
one of these. I use cream of coconut. I use a whole bottle of 32 ounce veggie stock. I use a cup of water. I used onions. I used Mrs. Dash, everything but salt. I used garlic powder. And I used garlic and pepper seasoning right here. And one more thing I got to put in here. I see. I said that I use it's crushed red peppers. I like mine a little kicky. These are mine. <clears throat> and I used garlic pepper seasoning, but it has salt in it. It doesn't say it, but it does. And now, and I told you I put onions. So, I didn't add any natural salt because of how much salt there is in there. And I use about a fourth of a cup of canola oil. So, now we're getting ready to lock it and show you how the Instapot works. We're going to make two separate videos here at one time. Let me push my light back a little bit so I, it don't be directly in my face. So, I can hook up the Instapot. Okay. Remember, that's cream of coconut. So, when you are, uh, let me turn my light back on. And it'll pop on in just a second. So, when you are, did I, turn, did I not turn the light on? Hold on, y'all. I plugged up the wrong thing. Hold on. Okay. So, when you got your stuff together and you don't have any problems, this is a pressure cooker. It'll tell you if it's off. It'll tell you if it's on. It says off. It says on. So what I'm going to do, pull it out some. I'm going to place it. There's a setting right there. You Did you hear that? Let me do that again. Did you hear that? You hear that air? If it's not set right, it will not do that. So I'm going to take it. When you hear that, then you twist it. It's locked. Once it's locked, you then can set it on your setting. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's locked. And I'm going to mash pressure cooker. It says 45 minutes. That's pretty much enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it at that setting. But if I wanted to, I could have went up an hour. Once it says on, you don't have to worry after that. It's now getting ready to start the process of cooking. In 45 minutes, when I come back and check it and do the release valve back here, <clears throat> if they're not tender enough for me, if I need a little more seasoning, I do it in, then and turn it back on and set it. Okay? Are we good with the Instapot? Instapot greens. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the outcome of these Instapot greens. But before I finish this particular video, since this is all about greens and collard greens, I am now going to show you how to do collard greens that are in my pot belly that will go on the stove. These greens will have a combination of meats, okay? So what we do is we rinse the salt off our fat back or anything that we purchase from the store. Ham hock, fat back, you don't want the cured salt on there, okay? We don't want the cured salt on there. We don't want the cured salt on there. So what we're going to do is, the greens have already been cut. They're in my sink. They're washed. I'm not using these greens because I've got to finish these greens and wash these greens. They are washed, but I did a demonstration with you and showed you how I did it. <clears throat> so the next step is to get my pot belly out. 
show you the ingredients. The ingredients that I use is similar. Now, do not use the veg all mix in this, this set of greens right here. I don't um, because I'm building flavor for those that didn't have meat, okay? So hold tight and let me begin the process of getting more greens and getting everything that uh, we need to get them on the stove. All right, hold tight. Okay, this is the rest of my greens, other than these, which I will clean them after I do the demonstration and add them into the rest of them. Set these over here. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use chicken broth in these. You can use vegetable broth. It really doesn't matter since they're meat. I'm just going to use some meat. So, hold on one second. I don't like the top on this. These onions, hold on. So, I'm placing onions in these as well. Somebody cut them up for me. Okay. I'm going to use chicken stock. Hold on. going to use that's fat back that's one style of meat I already filled this pot halfway full of water okay and I'm using another 32 ounce but this is chicken broth okay this one has chicken broth I'm just using meat in these greens okay the first one I used vegetable the second one, I'm using chicken broth. All right. I'm going to demonstrate. And then the season is a similar. I don't measure. It's garlic powder. 
You'll have to taste them. See if they season like you like. This is, again, everything but salt by Mrs. Dash. Cream of coconut. I kept the rest of this. So I didn't use the whole can in one. Garlic pepper seasoning. It has salt. That's why I'm not adding any table salt. I'll come back. If I need it, I'll do it. That's how I do it. Yes, I do. And I use pepper flakes. I won't use as many in these because my little girl, and I don't want to get them too spicy for her. One thing that you have to understand when you cook, you have to cook your way and your style with your flavor palette. <clears throat> Ooh, that got me right there. I feel like I got a sneeze. I use about a third of a cup of oil, and that was canola. I use canola oil, so I was able to use it in both sets of greens. Well, that's it. And that is that. I will add some of my pepper juice into both of these. You don't have to use pepper juice. I like the pepper and the pepper juice. Um, we are familiar with it. So I'm going to turn the eye on. I'm going to get you started. I hope I help someone. It's easy as that. Get your greens. Cut them off the stem. Wash your greens. Okay. That's very important. Because if you don't, you'll have gritty greens. Don't let somebody say, oh, they sprayed them at the um at the grocery store. And I get mine out of the field most of the time. Um, Ingalls had these on sale. This is green season. If you want greens, collard greens and turnip greens, this is the best time right now because they will be the most tenderest. So when we come back. When you and I and the whole family come back, yeah, the greens will be done. Then I'll tell you how long I cooked them. Because I don't pay attention to that. No, I don't put lemon juice in mine. I don't think you have to use all that. I think you have to let the flavor of the greens speak for the flavor of the green. And whatever I need or anything I add, I'll let you know. But as of right now, we are done until we come back and they will be done. So guess what? I, I'll see y'all shortly, okay? We'll be back. And here is the outcome of the collard greens. These cooked in my big bubble pot. I'm just turning them off. This had meat in it. And these are cooked in the Instant Pot. And they have no meat. These took 45 minutes to an hour. And these took two hours. 45 minutes to an hour, two hours. It's up to you. I did add fat back in here. Of course, I was going to do that. Um, pepper juice. Because I like peppers. Don't worry if you don't have pepper juice. Okay? Last look. Collard greens. Thank you for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking.